I guess the, the quad bike can actually be handy on occasion. <laughs> I was hoping to have a chat to you today about the activity occurring on your site to see if I'm able to help you um, with your development. We've actually just paused on the build because we got a call from the council, the local council, an environmental planner. Turns out one of our neighbours has sent in photos complaining about possibly our land movement, I think. So we're just going to pop in today and have a meeting and a chat. All of last night we were kind of, Hayden and I were just throwing out ideas of what it could possibly be because we have been following the rules. <laughs> We've been making sure we're following the rules. So yeah, I guess we'll find out. Well, we met with the council lady. No problems. <laughs> Yeah, we just had a good old chat about our plans with the land and yeah, the complaint to us seems to be mess on the land with the example of uh, the village caravan and smack in the middle <laughs> and uh, what was the other complaint? Oh, the fear that we were going to have a campground um, yeah, so no problems. What's your take on, on going to talk to the council lady? That was good. I think that I didn't expect. We showed the council lady our plan for the next few years and talked through what we've done and what we're planning to do soon and she was fine. <laughs> and what we do. And what we do? Yeah. As work. Mm. Yeah. Um, it did seem like the complaint was about a mess, but... We're allowed a mess. We're allowed a mess. Because <laughs> we're rural. And, like, we've walked around the section You'd have to go out of your way to really see anything, really. And then the other thing seemed to be that they thought we were going to turn this land into a campground. <sighs> Which I suppose in a previous video I mentioned having a little area for park over property so a couple of you guys can come and stay. And we're allowed to do that. Yeah, we're actually allowed to do that. It's in the writing, we can have 10 people come and stay so yeah no problems <laughs> Hayden started early this morning I'm still trying to wake up but we feel now we've talked to the council about our plans we actually we feel really confident to just carry on so it's kind of been a positive in a way what can I do Like there. Do you want me to hold anything? Do you want me to hold that? Yep, stand on that one. little cabin is taking shape. It's just so fun watching it. Um, talking about rules, a cabin like this we can build up to 30 square meters before you need a permit through the council. Uh, we can't have any plumbing so no bathroom and no kitchen. I did actually wake up wondering if the neighbor was concerned about these symbols couple of tent symbols I guess it does give the idea that we're going to set up a campground here <laughs> but no no as most of you know Hayden has a 
glamping TP business, but therefore big events at music festivals, so he goes to them. <laughs> and these used to be taken to the events too, so they were branded. But now they're gonna live here. They're gonna stay put, just be storage. Storage only. <laughs> I do want to say though that overall we've been very very welcome to this neighborhood more than I expected it's, it's actually a really friendly community down here um, we've had long chats with our closest neighbor um, seem to get on well with one of the farmers and I've found that when I've introduced myself to people in town as soon as I learn that I'm new to town I don't know anyone and I'm expecting a baby people seem to go out of their way to think about who I could contact um, and get to know. So that's just lovely. I have overall felt very welcome. And we have this lovely big window. And then Hayden said to me the other day, how am I actually gonna get it <laughs> in the framing and up into the correct position on his own? So, that's going to be one of our future challenges, I think. <laughs> Why did I buy such a big window? <laughs> some seeds that I thought I'd sprinkle on the new mound of topsoil just because I learned with the the first mound that it does just get taken over by weeds so why not just make it some pretty weeds I'm learning that deer make some pretty interesting noises in the evenings <laughs> around this time of year. I guess it's the what, end of summer, start of autumn-ish. Apparently it's gonna go on for a couple more months. <laughs> so I planted some pretty flowers yesterday. Now I wanna plant some vegetables that will hopefully handle autumn, start of winter, we'll see. <laughs> Hayden's really chipping away at, at the base. Love seeing this progress. It's actually, it's supposed to rain around lunchtime for a day and a half solid so we'll see we'll see what the next couple of days uh, bring it's just starting to rain again it rained a lot last night we've got a, a rain gauge now and apparently it was 29 millimeters overnight and we're kind of learning where the rains possibly where the rain could be an issue in the future where it could wash away the gravel now it's probably raining I really should go <laughs> go inside <laughs> And it's over, just like that. A very quick, intense shower.
very first piece of floor insulation in. It's exciting! <laughs> and the flooring wood from the Hamilton trip's been moved up here. And the window! So this insulation has been designed specifically for the wooden beams, the joists, <laughs> to sit at 600 millimeters, and then these these bits fit perfectly in between. Do you want me to help lower it or anything? First piece of flooring is down and it just it fit in perfectly really. Yep. Good job Hayden. <laughs> Getting, getting himself ready. <laughs> Checking his hair. <laughs> no makeup department. <laughs> so, how do Finished. you feel? Yeah. Dance floor done. Dance floor. <laughs> okay, onto the cabin now. <laughs> really good. Really good.